Hi everybody. So today we're going to be doing the April monthly in my Avalon and Ninth planner here. Um, so you can see it's a completely blank slate. So we get to lay everything down and we're going to be using the kit from uh, the Scrappy Fox. So this was part of the month, um, words, words to be nice, March English Farm Bundle. There we go, the March English Farm Bundle. So the bundle came with both monthly and weekly, and then a whole bunch of wonderful foil uh, and, a, and a couple other goodies. So I'm going to, to use the monthly part of that in here. So all kinds of wonderful functionals. And then a sidebar and some deco boxes. And then we have some washi strips to use for you know the top for the headers and whatnot. And then I'm going to bring in another washi strip. So this came with the bundle um, to use with either the weekly kit or I'm gonna use part of it for the monthly. And then for the foil I pulled, so we have this beautiful rose gold April. And then I'm going to use this for the numbers and use some um, important dates and day of the week. We have this, so you have more date dots. And then I think I'm gonna use some of these icons and then some foiled script. And then I have an idea for some of these overlays. We'll see, see if I can make it work, but I have an idea for some of those. And then some more icons. So um, not sure which set I'm gonna use, but I pulled them both. So that plus a whole bunch more comes out uh, with the bundles that she does. These bundles are no, it, this bundle in particular is no longer available, but she is doing another one for the month of, I needed to do a different one first and I wasn't going to do pink. I wanted to do the blue because I wanted to put this pink where the dates are. So she's doing a gardening bundle for April. It'll be available for the spring TPC sale or spring, you know, April spring, April bundle, gardening, flowers, everything spring, right? It'll be available for the April TPC sale, which starts on the 8th. Do, do, do. But if you would like the vertical kit, that is available in her shop right now, just the vertical, so it's not the bundle. Do I wanna layer this up top here? It won't fit. Who? I wonder. I don't know, I haven't decided. I could white that out and do something else there and just, but that's an awful lot of white space. I could use one of these, but it's not gonna match on the other side. Oh, those pots have faces, that's so cute. I didn't notice that, that's so cute. Okay, please don't mind me for a moment while I'm thinking. I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down. I think I'm gonna to have to go grab my ruler, my Erin Condren ruler because I think I'm going to be doing a little bit of sticker surgery on this. Um, please don't mind me. I know I need to get, get that off right there. We can make this work. It will work. Do, do, do. Okay, hold tight. I'm going to grab my ruler. Did not play with that. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I did not plan to do some sticker surgery because the last month I did, um, the header for the the month was done a little bit differently, so it covered most of it. Now I did still have to do a little bit with the 
whiting out some of these lines, um, which I'm going to do right now just because I'm putting down pink and I don't want it to show. Do do do. Okay. And now we're going to see how much room that is. So let's see, a half, half inch. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Let's see. That would be a half inch. How much is that? That's a whole inch, so that would be halfway. So really, I'd only have to do one. Do, do, do. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside because I know people would freak out if I did this on top of my planner. So we're gonna measure. We're gonna count one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, yep. So make sure that is the halfway mark. And of course I picked up my, <laughs> of course I picked up my knife. Okay. So that is the halfway mark. And try to make this as straight as I can. I, I'm a high school math teacher and I can't draw a straight line to save my life, even though I use a ruler. And I guess, no, because <laughs> I know I came away from the ruler a little bit there. Um, I think this is gonna work, guys. I think this is gonna work. Let's see. And you know, the funny thing is, is I laid this down before, well, not fully laid it down. I kind of eyeballed it a little bit. That works for me. I'm okay with that. I know it's not perfectly straight, but I don't expect it to be since I'm the one that did sticker surgery on this, but it works for me. I'm okay because I don't think it's terribly noticeable unless you're paying like super close attention to it. Okay, now let's clean up the edge here a little bit. And I'm like hardly pushing down at all, so it's not gonna go through the paper. And if it does, well, I'm putting stickers on the other side too. So not that big a deal. And I am notorious for cutting myself, not by doing this. I shouldn't say it, but I've never actually cut myself while doing sticker surgery. I probably will now. Um, but no, just like when I'm, actually, I don't usually cut myself with knives. I'm usually very careful around knives. It's everything else that I end up cutting myself with or hurting myself with. And I, think that that is hereditary. Um, my mom is that way. We, <laughs> growing up, whenever I would hear her um, from the kitchen, I would always ask her if it was a cut or a burn because we are notorious for that. My grandma too, she does the same thing and I'm going to put that cap on before I hurt myself. There we go. Okay. Next, we're gonna put April over here because that's over top of the notes and I'm not gonna put a header right there for the notes. So we're gonna put April right up over on the side. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, that is looking nice. Okay, and then we're going to put this here because I used this, um, not this kit, I used the Book Lover bundle for March and absolutely loved having an entire sidebar like this in one. Um, I've never really been one to use my sidebar on the monthly and I really want to get better at that. And I noticed that, let me do this a little bit no, we're just going to go with it because I didn't think about that beforehand. And I knew, I knew this was going to be short width wise and I lined it up on this side instead. But then only it matches this. And I'm, you know what? Not going to be a big deal because <gasps> I just had a thought. I can put 
Oh, but it's not the whole length. Oh, but I was gonna put, I can put a little deco down there or something. Actually, I know what I'm gonna put there, so I'm gonna put a little deco up top. And we're going to use, which one matches better? The other one's actually blue, so we're gonna use this green one. Do, do, do. And try to line up on the bottom. And again, doesn't have to be perfect, but I think it fits nicely in that little space. So I don't have the lines. So it's not as obvious. And again, you know, I, I'm the one using this. I'm the one that has to look at it all the time and it, it wouldn't bother me, but there, that's nice. I like that. Okay, and like I said, I'll put a little bit of deco there because I don't have another actual green. I have a couple other colors. But let's put down the days and the numbers before we get to do too much else. I think I'm going to use, I'm going to use the pretty script ones. And we have, let's see. Now, do I want to do, I always, always do in my monthly spread, a Sunday start, because that's just how it always is. But then in my weekly spreads, it's always a Monday start. You know what? I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna try a Monday start in my monthly spread, and it's probably going to throw me off, and that is okay. Um, we're gonna give it a try. If I really don't like it, I can go back to doing a Sunday start come May. Almost didn't know what month came after April but it's me. So we're gonna line these up kind of centered like. There we go. Can't go back now, cause that sticker's not coming back up. So here we go, Tuesday. I shouldn't do it that way. I should just lay down one at a time because they're delicate, being the foil on the frosted. It's such a pretty script too. I really, I love how she gives so many foil sheets, so many date dots, so many date dots. So you have, you'll see you have this one, you have the other one that I showed you, you have a black one as well. Um, actually, it's the same exact sheet in black if you wanted to do it in black instead of foil, um, which I think would look beautiful as well. I just like the foil. Um, not, I don't do a ton of foil in my weekly spreads. I'm doing it more, but not a ton. And so I think doing it here, um, you know, doing a lot here is, is kind of nice. Um, that's, coil's gonna be in my way. I love that the Avalon Ninth coil is so chunky. I mean, look at how beautifully chunky that coil is. But got, not gonna lie, it gets in the way a little bit. Um, I know it'll, um, it'll get better as I use this planner more as, as we get more into it. This is only the second month I've, um, I've, well, I'm in it. So I started just in March. So I guess technically we're still in the first month, but you know what I mean? Um, we're going into my second month in this planner. I absolutely am loving it. I, um, don't know that I'm going to get another Erin Condren life planner. I've had one for the last two years. Um, and I really love the paper and everything. Um, I had the hourly layout. Well, I had, I should say I still have, um, cause it's sitting here. I double planned March in it because I planned March and then I bought this one and I just, I couldn't wait. I wanted to get into it. Um, so that's what I did. But um, I, I don't know, I'm not gonna use it for April. I think I'm going to just stick in my Avalon in, in ninth for my ap for April moving forward. Now I do still use an Erin Condren for the daily petite for all of my like detailed to-do list and all of the ugly stuff um you know lists crossing out doing whatever 
and um, and work. I have a lot of detailed stuff for work and to-do lists that I keep track of in there for that. Um, but I, I used an hourly Erin Condren for the last two years um, because that's you know, when my daughter was born and I found that the hourly was very helpful in tracking my daughter's wake time and, you know, when she would nurse or, you know, do a bottle. Um, which side do I want the numbers to go on? Um, I want them to go, okay, let me peek real quick. What did I do last month? I did upper left. Okay, that's what I'm going to do again. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so I would keep it, I would do it for my, you know, nursing or, you know, feedings, how long, you know, naps, you know, um, start and stop times, all that sort of thing. I keep track of everything because it was already numbered and, well, yes, she would have some nighttime feedings and whatnot in the beginning, and of course the planner doesn't go into that much detail. I would just write that in, um, you know, at the end, because it did have that box at the bottom. That's where I, I would include all of that information. And it worked great for that. But now my daughter's almost two, and I'm not needing that level of detail anymore because you know she is fully on solids i mean as, as much as she loves milk um i think we go through a gallon and a half of milk in a week um i think a lot of that too is because she's teething and she just really it's like a comfort thing for her but um she and she is doing one nap a day now um, it does kind of vary based on our schedule, what we have going on, you know, and whether she got up earlier than normal, those kinds of things. I mean, I, I can still count on, you know, when she's going to be going down for a nap and roughly how long it's going to be. Um, I do still track her naps just because I'm really curious and it's fun to look back on to see, you know, I was just looking through my current Erin Condren um, seeing just how everything has progressed, you know, my, my planning styles changed and progressed over the last year. And it, it was really fun to see those nap times change and the frequency of them. And so I do still enjoy writing them in. Um, but also, you know, she's still at an age where if I take her to the doctor, the doctor asks all those kinds of questions. Like, you know, how long does she sleep at night and how many naps does she take and how long are they and, you know, what, how often does she eat, which is really kind of funny because it's all the time. She eats all the time, whether she's eating a meal or she is snacking, she eats all the time. Um, this child loves food. She loves, absolutely loves hard boiled eggs. She, at, some, at one point, she was going through about three of them a day, which kind of boggled my mind. And not just a day, but in a sitting. Um, we would sit down for breakfast and she would have one hard boiled egg and a handful of strawberries that I'd cut up and she would want more. And so I would get her another egg and then I would get her, you know, something else like maybe some banana or something. And then she'd want more. So I was like, okay, so I get her hard, another hard boiled egg because that's what she's asking for more of. And, oh man, this child, it's, it's just crazy. She is the person, she is the one I buy eggs for in this house. My husband and I are not big fans of eggs. Now I eat them occasionally out of necessity in the morning because I know that they're a good source of protein and I know they'll keep me full longer throughout the morning but it's just, it's not my favorite food and I'm really par uh, really particular about how they're prepared. And so, yeah, this child is quite interesting. Um, okay, let's see. 
Now that we have all of that base down, we're going to put a couple of these things. I should have looked up some of these things. Okay, I do know April Fool's Day is the first, always the first. I'll go ahead and mark that. And then I know that tax day is the 15. Because I looked that one up already and wrote it down on my handy dandy piece of paper I have sitting over here. So tax day is the 15th. Let's see. I know Good Friday is the second. And so, you know, being in an online private school, I don't actually have these days off. Um, our students go based on when their home school, so not, you know, at home, but their brick and mortar school do. So if, you know, they're off during these days because of spring break, great. If they're not, well, we're still open for them. Um, so I like to mark them so I know when it is, so I know when they could be taking off. Um, why did I, you, you guys, you see, this is, this is why I do these things because Easter's not on a Monday, Easter's on a Sunday. It's over here. And I guess you could say Easter Monday because that's technically the day that my students would have off if they have like a spring break that goes this week plus the Friday or some places do spring break this week and then go back on the Monday. And so it's, it's weird. Um, I don't remember these days. Hey, National Dog Day was just yesterday. Um, that was a fun one. Oh, I do know Earth Day is the 22nd and funny Thing about that that is one of my former co-workers birthdays um, so I should know that you know I should know that Earth Day is always on the 22nd because that's her birthday but instead I know that's her birthday because it's Earth Day um, I should start remembering it the other way around I'll look up the autism awareness and the pet day because I think those are uh, really great things that I, I do want to include in my planner so I'll just have to look those up another time. Okie dokie. We have some of these cute things going on and I think I want to include some of them down here, although I wanted to do something else too. I should probably do that other sticker surgery first before I forget and get too carried away. And um, so what I'm going to do with these overlays is they're full box overlays. Well, these are not, those are kiss cut for dividers, but these three are full box overlays. What I'm gonna do is, because the full box goes a little bit further up, I wanna place this down here, but I don't want the full box interfering up there. So I think I'm gonna trim it a little bit. And same thing for this to put it down here. So I'm gonna move my planner over again. And I know you can't see this, um, you know, see where the sticker starts and stops, but I can, so trust me. On this one, please. It'll be okay. We're not going to hurt anything. Do, do, do. This is a slightly thicker sticker. So we're going to go twice. Okay. Now up here for this one. Do, do, do. I'm really trying not to cut myself. Okay. There we go. Cool. So I'm gonna get those down. Aha! Look at that! Shorter box. It worked. Get this right down here in the corner. Do I want to take off? No, I'm not going to. Okay. I was going to go ahead and tombo out some of the line here and here, but when I tried to lift the sticker back up to do it, it didn't want to do that, so we didn't. Oh well, it doesn't bother me one bit. Oh no! Okay, let's fix that. There, okay. And we're gonna lay this one down sideways here. 
Or do I want it there? Or do I want it lined up with this box? No, I want it lined up with the page like the other one is. So, okay, just like that. So I think that looks kind of pretty. Um, kind of framing the bottom, sort of. Um, okay. Next, what we're going to do is I need to lay down a few things for um, a few things going on. So I do have, oh, let's see, what stickers do I want to use for that? I have quite a few meetings going on, especially on Thursdays this month. And I'm going to use these ones because I just, I like how thin they are. And so they're not going to take up as much space to see three. Um, I have a, I have more over here. That's right. Four. Okay. So I know of four at the moment. So I'm going to lay down. Well, if I could get it lined up on the side there. I don't have to, but it just makes me feel better. And then two, and then three. So every other week, um, our, I was gonna say our department, I guess you could say our department. So the instruction team at my work, we do meetings every other week on Thursdays for that. And then this is another meeting just for me and one other individual. Um, okay, and then I have meet, I have meeting stickers somewhere. I know what I want to use. Um, but I don't know if I have enough. Oh, here we go. Um, yeah, by, and by enough, I mean, I don't know if I have them in colors that I want to use here. So these are Orange Umbrella Co. They're, they're little, so I like how they would fit. So I kind of like the green in that one there, the green and kind of, it's not pink, kind of taupey color. And these ones, I guess I can make these ones work. Okay, they're all just going to be different colors, but I like how small they are. So we're going to get these down. And I don't need to write what times they are in this spread because I'm going to have it in the um, in my daily. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm going to have it in the daily. So I don't need what times they are here. That one's done. Um, let's see. I'm trying to pick ones that aren't too bold, I guess. Um, something that's gonna kinda still go with everything. Let's see, we'll do the green up here. And I guess, no, we'll do this one over here. Um, let's see. And then I need to put down, I need to put down for the big old live, which is kind of a big deal. What sticker do I want to use for that? Let's go with this one. This is cute. Okay. So we have big old live. These are all just pretty cute. Let's just use this. And then we have sale. Oh, oh, mm, I might need to do something else there. Okay, we'll do sale ends with this one. Do, do, do. So big old live this month. Caitlin goes live in the uh, TPC Facebook group and announces all the winners for the giveaways, um, which they have actually just started uh, just a couple days ago. 
So if you are in the group or you want to be part of TPC, go for it. Um, the Scrabby Fox is going to be in the TPC, TPC sale for March. It's going to be 30% off if you're interested. And um, that gardening bundle that I, I mentioned earlier, it's going to be in there as well. Now it's not going to be discounted, but it will be... Um, it won't be 30% off, but it's a huge deal for pretty cheap. So it's, it's good. Um, I don't mean cheap, like, you know, cheap. I just mean, you know, really affordable. So this, the last two months, it's been $25. And I think that's what it's going to be again, but just, you know, um, $25 for a monthly kit, a weekly kit, and a ton of functional foil stickers and then a couple of other goodies. So they have been, and do I wanna do it this big? Okay, here's my, here, here's my thought. This is my three year anniversary. Do I want a nice big sticker to write it in or do I want just a nice little dainty thing? I want to go big and this is pretty so we're gonna go with it now my dilemma is I don't have room for another sticker for the sale starting but I could do and people could be like oh but that's not a big deal yeah the sale starting is a big deal that's that has to be marked in my planner all the time um, because no, it's not something I'm going to forget, but it is something that I do need to, I, well, I, I like to keep track of. I like to, you know, go back and say, oh yeah, that was that day. But, um, it also helps me remember when I need to have my lists made by, because I like to shop on the first day, um, when they open. And because if I, if I wait and keep shopping throughout the entire sale, I'm just gonna spend so much more money and you know do a lot of impulse buying. So I try to make all of my lists ahead of time um, and finalize them during the big old live. And then I go on and shop that Thursday morning. So I'm gonna do that right there for the sale starting because it'll be March. It's not gonna take over any part of the other rest of the box. Okay. What else do I have going on? Oh yeah, I need to do, I'll put those stickers in later because I don't know what I did with them, honestly. I, I mean, so many stickers and a lot of the shops have freebies to say like sales starts, big old life, all that sort of stuff. And I just, I forgot what I did with it. Um, I do want to put a pretty little icon for our anniversary, but I don't know what. I mean, I guess I could use the cake with a candle, but I know it's for birthdays, but I mean, it's, it's for celebration, right? There's no little hearts. I mean, there's hearts all over everything and there is a little heart on the cake. We're gonna do that. That's what we're gonna do. I like that. Okay. Okay, I think this is, oh no, there's one more thing I need to put down there. Um, my husband is going to get his driver's license renewed that day. Um, and you know, with COVID and everything, we're still struggling with getting, <laughs> getting in places to do stuff like that. So for me, uh, it took me three months to or when I scheduled my appointment, it had to be for three months out because that's just, you know, where, where we were. Um, and I didn't end up actually getting, my appointment was probably three or three to four weeks after my license had expired. So that was fun. They didn't say anything about it though. They understood. And then they knew it wasn't a big deal or anything like that. I do want to do, or do, or don't I? I don't know, I really kind of like this, but I kind of want to put something down here and I kind of want to do something for those boxes. Last month I took some of the washi and I kind of marked it out. 
but I don't know that I want to do that this time because I just I really like the simplicity of how this is I know that it's going to get a whole lot more going on in it but I really kind of like it oh there's one more thing I just remembered there's one more thing I have to mark and that's gonna be with my little paw print do, 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 and I'll put it on one of these. So the cool thing about these little stickers is that they fit these little scripts and your icons. So if you just wanna make a small note of something, you can just like this. So that and the cute little paw print sitting right there for a little Sadie bug. Okay. So that's, that's it for this month. Um, sorry if that was a little long. We did a little sticker surgery, we're all good. So this is from the Scrappy Fox. This was her April English Farm bundle. She's gonna be in the TPC sale for April with a gardening bundle. So go check that out. And if you ever wanna you know, go see her uh, during, or go check out her shop outside of the sale, you can use my code, which is down below in the description for 15% off and get my sampler. And if you could please like this, you know, comment if you have any questions and please subscribe. That would help me out a lot to get going on this. And thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye guys.